Following the Western model of development, India and other developing nations lost out a lot of useful and meaningful things. One of the largest changes has been in eating behaviors. We quickly forgot our indigenous foods and chased standardization. Millets too were discarded as being too primitive to be used for getting the roots. Nonetheless, millet has been slowly regaining popularity recently and several initiatives are being taken to bring it back into the popular culture. Following India's proposal, the United Nations General Assembly at its 75th session in 2021 declared 2023 the International Year of Millets. The UN Food and Agricultural Organization is the organizing body for the year working with other important stakeholders. Millets made a ringing reappearance at Indian restaurants across China recently as Indian diplomatic mission celebrated the International Year of Millets 2023. The International Year of Millets provides a unique opportunity to raise awareness of and direct policy attention to the nutritional and health benefits of millet consumption. The suitability of millets for cultivation under adverse and changing climatic conditions, creating sustainable and innovative market opportunities for many countries to benefit farmers and consumers globally. Millet refers to a number of small seeded annual grasses that are cultivated as grain crops primarily on marginal lands in dry areas in temperate, subtropical and tropical regions. The earliest evidence for these grains has been found in the Indus civilization and they were one of the first plants domesticated for food. If we talk about global distribution, India, Nigeria and China are the largest producers of millet in the world, accounting for more than 55% of the global production. For many years, India was a major producer of millet. However, in the recent years, millet production has been increased dramatically in Africa. In India, millets are primarily a kharif crop requiring less water and agricultural inputs than other similar staples. Common millets available in India are ragi, jowar and bajra. Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana are the major millets producing states. Before the green revolution, millets made up around 40% of all cultivated grains, which has been dropped to around 20% over the years. Millets are photo-insensitive and resilient to climate change. They are drought-resistant, growing in areas with low rain and infertile soil and require less water to cultivate. They require a short growing season of 70 to 100 days. Millets have low carbon and water footprint. Their genetic diversity ensures that agrobiodiversity is preserved. They are high in protein, dietary fiber, micronutrients, and antioxidants. Recognizing the enormous potential of millets, which also aligns with several UN Sustainable Development Goals, the Government of India has prioritized millets. In 2018, millets were rebranded as Nutri Cereals, followed by the year 2018 being declared as the National Year of Millets aiming at larger promotion and demand generation. Terming it Shri An, the union budget accorded high priority to millets, with Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman announcing that institutional impetus will be given to make India a global hub for these nutritious grains. Millets are also an integral part of the G20 meetings, and delegates will be given a true millet experience through tasting, meeting farmers, and interactive sessions with startups and FPOs. In February, during the first agriculture deputies meeting under the Agriculture Working Group in Indore, the draft of the suggested initiative, the Millet International Initiative for Research and Understanding was presented. As per the scheme, India will provide the seed money to kick things off and each G20 member will subsequently be required to contribute to its budget in the form of a membership fee. The moment has come to recognize millet's significance and to spur domestic and international demand along with providing nutritious food to the community. Let's attempt a couple of questions now. Which country is the largest producer of millet? Options are China, Africa, USA, India. The correct answer is India. Next question. 
How many countries supported the Indian proposal for celebrating 2023 as the International Year of Millet in the United Nations Organization? Options are 67, more than 70, 65, and 60. The correct answer is more than 70. So that's all for the video. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching.